What's up everybody, Prefix Wiz coming at you with another Unity tutorial, continuing our series on Unity C Sharp coding. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to grab images from a link on the web at runtime. And that starts right now. Grabbing image links from the web for your project at runtime. Let's open up Unity. Okay, so first let's go ahead and create a cube real quick. So it's a 3D object cube, and let's set it transform to 0, 0, 0. And there we have the cube right there in our game view. So then we're going to create a C sharp script. All right, and let's name this script get image. All right, and before we open that up, let's go into Unity scripting. And I did a search for get image from the web, and this is what popped up. So if you were to take this exact example and copy it, let's go back into Unity. Let's double click on get image. Let's go ahead and replace all that with the new stuff and then just rename the example class what we named our script to begin with get image. Okay, so as is what this is going to do is it's going to go to this public string URL HTTPS and then Unity Docs and all the way over to shadow intro PNG. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that is exactly. And if you were to open it up in your browser, this exact address is going to show this image. So that's what we want to display at runtime. So let's go back into Unity and we want it to display, obviously. And let's place this script right on top of that GameCube and then let's hit play. So as you can see, it displays as intended on the cube. It works if you were to put it on an object, but let's say we wanted to do it on a UI element, which would make more sense. So let's just create a raw image and let's go ahead and put that same script on this raw image and hit play. Okay, so obviously the cube still works, but down here this raw image does not. And we get an error, and the error says that there's no render attached to this raw image. So what type of render is it asking for? You know, there's all kinds of renders. There's mesh renders and all. So let's go ahead and put a mesh render on it just to see if that's what it's talking about. So let's put a mesh render on it, and let's hit play. Okay, well the error went away, so we're in the right ball field. Oh, but here's the, it spawns a material. Uh, a new instance of it. Let's put this in uh, this material and see what happens. Okay, it turns black here and it kind of shows up in our scene view here. So it's not really what we're looking for. Maybe it's not looking for a mesh render. Maybe it's looking for a sprite render. And here we have a sprite render. Let's put that on there. There we go. And let's hit play. So we have a sprite render and we have an image, but they're not really syncing up together. So we need to fix that somehow, some way. Okay, so let's delete this new sprite. Let's go back to this raw image. So in raw image, we're going to go add component and let's go down here to rendering. And down here, you'll see a sprite render that you can actually add the component to the raw image. So this is where we're having our disconnect, because if we were to take this and place it right into the material of the raw image, it will display. Okay, so in order to get this to work, I've changed a few things around. The first thing we need to do is add using Unity Engine.UI. Okay, then we need to add three public variables. The sprite render is just getting a reference to the sprite render. The raw image is getting a reference to the raw image. And the image material is grabbing a reference to the sprite render's new material instance that spawns. Okay, then we jump down here in code. All of this default information remains the same. It's basically grabbing the image from the URL that we specified earlier. And then down here, we're going to set the material instance that we want to grab is the one that populates for the sprite render dot material. So once we set that, then we can grab this raw image dot material and set it to the new image material. So if we hit save, we go back into unity. Uh, we just want to populate these public variables, but we're going to take raw image and put it in raw image. We're going to take sprite render and put it in sprite render. And this will populate automatically. I just wanted to make it public so that we could see it happen. So let's hit play. And you'll see after one second, that one second delay that we had in there, this populates, which in turn populates that. There's two things to note here. One is you got to make sure that you're using a dot PNG or dot JPEG. Otherwise, this may not work. And the second is you can do this to any UI element as long as you remove the original image script and add a raw image script, then do everything that you're doing here. So for instance, if I were to use a UI button, you'll notice that it has a regular image script. Let's get rid of this image script and let's add a raw image to it. Let's add the script and let's take the raw image and put it in the raw image. And we got to add the sprite render. And add the sprite render to this, hit play, 
and you'll see that it also populates and it is a functioning button so this would be useful say like you had a mobile device game or something that you wanted to change with the seasons and you had a image on each page that was referencing something um, to a website if you started it this way then you can change with the season all you have to do is change that one image on that specific URL on the website just keep the name the same and it will change the image in the game for everybody when they turn it on and see it it'll grab that actual image from the from the URL if it doesn't uh, you might want to put some code in there that might set it to a default one if you can't find it um, because there may be a time where there's no service where they're at and it'll throw a big red question mark in there if they can't find the image so you probably don't want that you just want to make sure that um, you have some fail safes in there just in case but that's how you grab images from the web at runtime and that's how you make it work with the ui obviously the default way to throw it on a material on a mesh render for a regular game object works but you can also put it on ui now as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. If you like this video or if it helped you, click that like button. And regardless, subscribe.